Step one with a square root equation is to try get the square root alone. If there's a number in the front, that is perfectly fine. So what you do to get rid of the square root is you square both sides of the equation. Remember in maths you are allowed to do that as long as you're doing it to both sides. So the square of 4 is 16 and then the square of a square root, well that just takes away the square root and so you're just left with whatever's on the inside like that. Then a common quest, uh, mistake that students make is over here, they just say 9x squared plus 64. If you've just done that, it's okay. It's normal. A lot of students do that. But what you need to remember is that it's a double bracket. So you've got to go like that and like that. Okay. So now I'm going to multiply everything in. So that's going to be 16 multiplied by 4, which is 64x plus. Now 16 multiplied by 9. What's that? I think 144. Let's double check. Yep, 144. And then you multiply the brackets out. So that's going to be 9x squared plus 24x plus 24x plus 64. Okay. So now we take everything. I'm going to take everything to the one side. And so you're going to have this. Like that. All right. And so 0 is going to be equal to 9x squared. Now, I'm going to put all the x's together, so it's 24 plus 24 is 48, minus 64 is negative 16x minus 80. Now, you can divide by, I mean, you can try dividing by 9. I thought it was going to work, but it won't. Um, you, can do, you, you can try dividing by stuff, but what I like to do is I just use the quadratic formula. You know the one that goes minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. If you haven't done that before, then of course you could also try factorizing this, you know, using the brackets. And whatever way you will use, you're going to get x is equal to 4, or negative 20 over 9. Now, I'm not going to write this as a decimal just yet, or I guess I can, it's okay. So it'll be negative 2.22. Now remember, you need to do your little checks. So I'm going to divide my page in half. So if x is 4, let's check if that works. So if x is 4, then the left hand side, you're going to plug 4 into the original equation. So it's going to be 4 square root of 4 times 4 plus 9. And I'm just going to type that on my calculator. Then I'm going to check out the right hand side. And that's going to give me 3 times 4 plus 8, which is also 20. So the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side, and so everything's good so far. Now, when you're doing the check for the decimal part, this is important, guys. You don't want to plug in the decimal because the decimal is rounded off, and that's not going to give you an accurate reflection over here. So you need to remember that when we did this one, we actually got an answer of negative 20 over 9. You want to use that when you do your check, okay? Because remember... If you've rounded off, you've taken away some of the accuracy, and so you might find that this won't work out. The left-hand side won't be the same as the right-hand side, but meanwhile, it actually might have been if you just used the proper fraction. So for the left-hand side, I'm going to go plug it in as 4, 4 multiplied negative 20 over 9 plus 9, and that gives me 4 thirds, or 4 over 3. Now for the right-hand side, you use the same value, so it's just 3 times negative 20 over 9 plus 8, and that's also 4 over 3. But now if you went and used the decimal version, they would have been a little different. Okay, so the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side, so we can say that this x equals to negative 2.22. We can use that as our final answer, and x is also 4.